Robotic Materials SmartHand is a self-contained development environment that does not require any software installation to provide autonomy to your robot arm. The integrated Python programming environment puts all the latest tools from machine learning and artificial intelligence at your fingertips. Taking advantage of a powerful ARM processor and 256 GPU cores, an Ethernet connection unleashes computer power from the cloud. In addition to the hand itself, you find a power supply and mounting hardware for the UR5 robot in the box. You will only need a hex key, an Ethernet cable, and a set of cable ties to complete the installation. Move the robot into a position in which you can comfortably reach its wrist. Use the dowel pin to ensure correct orientation. Attach the mounting plate to the robot's end effector and use two M6 screws to mount the plate. You can now slide the smart hand onto the mounting plate and attach it by inserting the two shorter screws from the side. Now, connect the combined power and data cable to the plug close to the robot's wrist. You can now connect the power supply and an Ethernet cable to the interface box. Make sure that both the hand and the robot are on the same subnet. If available, the hand will connect to the internet via DHCP. You will now need to configure the robot's new tool center point, which is 245 millimeters from the wrist when using the standard fingers and rotated by two pi around the Z axis. Use a zip tie to secure the cable on the arm. Make sure to leave enough play for the wrist to fully rotate in each direction. The smart hand will appear as an access point after boot up is complete. Connect using a computer or tablet and navigate to the hand's static IP address 10.42.0.1 on port 8888 to access a Jupyter Lab server running on the hand. Navigate to the lib folder and open the file config.py to provide the smart hand with the IP address of your robot. Here, you can also configure other hardware as well as the length of the hand's fingers. You can now execute your first program. In this example, the user sets two waypoints to pick up random objects from one location and transport them to another. Jupyter Lab provides a convenient way to inspect what the robot is seeing and to adjust code on the fly. The built-in point cloud viewer clearly shows the rubber ducky, the gear, and the metal shaft. Visit us on roboticmaterials.com.